Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography and today I'm going to be editing this image of my daughter holding a bouquet of dandelions, or as she would say, a bouquet of wishes, um, under this really pretty flower tree. It was at peak bloom and it was just gorgeous and I loved everything about it. Um, so as you can see from the original, it is really yellowy and gross. The grass is neon, which is just wrong in my opinion. Um, before I started this video, I just did a couple things. I used the Liquidify um, tool to bump her hair out a little bit, and I added a dandelion puff into her hands, and that was about it. So, there you go, that, and this is the after and before the after. It's going to turn into a really cool mint green, and it's going to look gorgeous together. Um, okay, so let's get started here. First, I am going to go into the Storyville base, like I always do. And I'm going to turn the color dazzle off, and I want to keep the darkened edges. I'm going to scale that down a little bit, and that looks good to me. Maybe cut this down a little bit. Cut that down. And it looks like it's a little blown out back there. So we're just going to leave this on about 13, 14. That looks good. So that's the before and after. Um, some added contrast. And next, we are going to take care of the screen. It is just a sight. Um, that is not very pleasant to the eyes. So I'm going to go into the Grass Rescue under the Story of Element, and I'm going to play that. And I'm going to take a soft white brush at 100% opacity, and I'm going to paint that all over. And magically, the yellow turns into this really pretty mint. I'm going to try and make this quick for you guys so you don't fall asleep at your computer watching me here. But there's a lot of green to take out and if you're doing this for a client or printing it you're gonna want to zoom in make sure it doesn't get on any of the skin I don't mind it overlapping over these branches I kind of like it but I'm gonna take most of it off of the flowers A little bit there. Color, color, color. Getting closer to the arm. And she's got a green thumb. Take care of that. Okay. Again, I'm going to Try not to be too nitpicky here, which is really hard when I see green on the skin, but for the tutorial purpose, I will try not to spend too much time on that there. Get a little bit out of her hair and call it a day. Okay, that looks good to me. I'm going to run over some of these flowers that got hit with the green and just take a little bit off doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and that looks good enough to me. This is the before and after. And you can play around with the slider to get the exact tone that you want. I'm going to leave it all the way up. I like how that looks here with the flowers. Um, I feel like we could make her dress in the flower color a little bit better though. So I'm going to go into the Hue and um, Saturation palette. They look magenta-y to me. Oops. And I'm going to increase um, the Hue color to about 34, 35. And I'm going to increase the saturation up, up, up. And that looks good. Maybe lighten it up a little bit here. That looks good to me. As you can see, it went from that pink to kind of this nice corally color, and I like that. And it also um, 
did a number to her skin, which I like. Made it a nice, like, peach tone. So I'm going to keep that on there. Next thing I'm going to do is make this more dreamy. I'm going to run the twisted mat. Oops. Click on your bottom layer, or this won't work properly, guys. And if you're at home, feel free to flatten the image first. Okay, that's going to come on really strong. We're going to play around with it, um, starting at the base. I usually like to keep this around, like, between 20 and 30 percent and that looks good to me. We'll wipe it off of her as well. I'm gonna turn the mat down um, just a little bit. I like it on there. We'll probably paint it off of her skin. Oops. And we're gonna bump the contrast down a little bit. And the highlights down a little bit. We're gonna turn this Oh, yeah, that made her way too red. Move this, make sure the light is over the subject. Turn that down a little. And I'm going to go ahead and mask this off of her. It would help if I was on the mask, wouldn't it? Here we go. 100% opacity, soft black brush. I want her to stay in complete focus. Okay, and that looks good to me. I'm going to wipe the mat off of her. And that looks good. Next, I'm going to bump this contrast down a little bit. I like the dimension it adds but it was a little too strong there. And that looks good. Now I'm gonna come back to this bottom layer and wipe a little bit off of these flowers. Doesn't have to be on all of it. Just some, make them pop a little bit more. Okay, and that looks good to me. So this is the before and this is the after. Just gives it a little bit more of that dreamy fairy tale look that we're going for here. Now we are going to go for her skin. So click on your bottom layer there and I'm going to run the smooth skin action. And I'm going to use a soft white brush at 100% opacity and probably turn this down to like 40%. Click on the mask. And just run over areas that you want to smoothen up a little bit. Try and stay away from the features like the eyelashes, eyebrows, mouth. Hit her arms here. And it brightens as it smooths, which is really nice. Okay, so before, after, probably turn that down just a little bit. Okay, next, as you can see, her arms have kind of taken on a red tone there. So we're going to click up here, the very top, and go into the Skin Rescue and the Color Correction. We're going to reduce the red. Soft white brush, 100% opacity, and go to town where there is too much red. I'm going to dial that back. Looks pretty good to me. And it looks like she still has a little magenta to her, so same deal. Soft white brush, 100% opacity, and paint it on the problem areas. And her, her face looks good, so I'm, I'm going to just leave that alone. It looks pretty nice to me. 
Um, so maybe just tone this down a little bit on her arms. There, that looks good to me. Okay, next I'm going to add a little bit of red into her lips and cheeks. So I'm going to hit the radiant red at 100% opacity and paint it on her cheeks. We will dial this back and it doesn't have to be perfect. There, that looks good to me. So now I think I just want a little bit of dodge and burn. Um, make sure her features really stand out. So I am going to go to the dodge and burn if I can find it. Where are you? There we go. And play that. I'm going to go around 8% opacity. And I'm going to first burn. So I'm going to run along here real quick, her lash line, eyebrows, eyebrows, a little bit under her chin, we'll do some of her hair, looks like the shade on her arms is fine. Okay, and that looks good. Now I'm gonna dodge a little bit here on the bridge of her nose, over the eyebrows, a little bit on her cheeks, chin. Run along the lighter parts of her hair. Maybe dial that down just a little bit. That looks good to me. Let's zoom out. The next thing and last thing I'm going to do is grab the sun flare. And I am going to copy and paste it right on top. Hit the screen mode. I'm going to crank that down. That looks good. And I'm going to move it right here. And then I'm going to mask it off her skin um, and her hair. It's a very subtle difference, but it helps her stand out even more. And that's what this is all about, just creating layers to make the subject pop. Gaussian blur. Around 37% looks good. See, very subtle, but makes all the difference. Alright guys, I think we're done here. Really simple to do. Um, that's the before. Let me zoom in. Before and the after. Before and after. You can find all these actions in the sun overlay at storyvillephotography.com. Thanks for the watch, guys. Have a good day.